Deb. She was mm -hmm. in the rose. Deb is, of course, your beautiful wife. Yeah. Um, so proud of you and I, I am so proud that you are such a great representation of the lgbtq community yes. as well that your family has embraced the, the love that the two of you have oh my gosh the love that i i hope to one day find because well, we got enough for all you to find it we got enough so beautiful it. but uh you're a little personal warrior she has mm -hmm. been quite through something as i think most of us know someone my mom carrie is yes a your mom yeah you know, so so tell us a little bit about Deb. Tell us how she's doing. Tell us about why it was important for you to celebrate life and ring that bell, baby. Oh my gosh. When it comes to breast cancer awareness. Yeah, as funny as it sounds, we always say now and of course, I don't know how I get all these quiet people, but Deb's really quiet. She she very steady. And so when we found out we were going across country on the 18 wheeler and we found out she had cancer, and <clears throat> that night I saw a commercial for Cancer Treatment Center of Newton. And I was like, that morning, we just didn't know what to do, what we were going to do, or where we were going to go. And I saw that commercial and I said, I think we need to call them. Well, long story short, we were on our way to California. So from the time we, we talked to them, so California, they would call us every day, check, because Deb's a chef too. She's a Cordon Bleu chef. And so we cook things on the truck. I don't know, she loves everything natural. So we cook on the truck and everything. So by the time we got to the Cancer Treatment Center, just like Kimberly and them, they knew all about us. They knew us. They came and um, one of my best friends, uh, Marilyn, she in the, in the, she's a little Marine and she's 10 feet tall, but she's really 5'4". She came and took us there and for nothing I've ever seen before. Uh, I say that it's like Disney because they're so kind Everybody is just so much love. Everybody's fighting. You meet people from all over the world there. And if you meet somebody and they tell you, well, I have a test here or whatever, they actually, we've passed each other in the hall. We check on each other. I have so many friends and family now from there. And the, <clears throat> the staff there, they're like our family. So when we were there, it was just like, it just kept going. And that's the name of the street. The Cancer Street is called Celebrate. And, and when we think about ringing that bell and what that means to someone who's been battling this insidious disease, um, what is that moment like when she walks out the door and rings that bell? And what does that signify for maybe someone who's not quite sure what we're talking about? It's like you have come to the end of the treatment that you're cancer free. And at Cancer Treatment Center, they come from all over. No matter where they're in the hall, when you hit that bell, I mean, our, the guy who uh, drove us around, people from the kitchen, I mean, Shannon, he's another one of my godsons. Now I have like five God's kids now from there that I met. They come from everywhere to celebrate life with you because they fight for you. They pray for you. It's nothing like I've ever seen, you know, and early detection is key. And especially, you know, we've never, I mean, we take care of everybody else and we don't take care of ourselves. So it's very important this month and every month that you guys check everything and you check, take a friend. And that's my sister. She came, she came and she's a cancer survivor too. And her and Deb had the exact same cancer. And that's what Deb said. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm tell everything anyway. Deb, she was adopted. So she didn't have a lot of family. And so my sister and her, she loves my sister. Like there's, and she said, I got this for my sister so I can help her. This is why I got this. And so they're, they're close and, just love and, and celebrate life and you i do that, that daily yeah and we need that and i know that my mom helen passed away from lung cancer not breast yeah. cancer yes. but lung cancer and i know that having you know experienced that firsthand and watching and being with someone during that battle mm -hmm. my sister catherine like took care of my mom every single day what an amazing warrior and then was diagnosed with right. bone to herself literally like a month after my mom passed away so when i think about this scrub i think about the love it's the touch of another human Absolutely. if i could rub this on my mom's little bald head if i could put this in and give the nourishment of the mm -hmm. oils and the sense and just the the care to someone who is battling this disease yeah scary it's it's tragic it's, it's terrifying it's horrible. you you don't have any control of anything and last year one of my best friends for 30 years stephanie lofton she passed away but i went to take care of her and i started putting that on her because she had from the radiation 
she had places on her back that was rough and all that stuff. And so I started, I said, Steph, let me see if I can put this scrub on you. And we made a friendship scrub. And she's like, Kimberly, I mean, it just sloughed off. It was just her skin was baby smooth after that. And she's like, you've got to get this out to people because it's just amazing. And oh, hey, Kiki, she's, listen, that's my old guy, baby, too. She's having twins, you guys. Uh, she's the, I, I don't know if I say it right, IFB, whatever. I just know it's two boys, babies. We're having some babies. So, oh, uh, yeah, that's it. Kiki. She's in Nashville too, Kim. So I have to hook y'all up. She's amazing. You but to, um, we got to get together. Yes. And so <laughs> it was just like, so, and it's just like every puzzle piece fit. And she, I put it, I would shower her and I put it on her. And she's like, Kimberly, this is amazing. And she's another one that was pushing, you got to do this. You got to do this. You got to do this. So, you guys, I cannot express to you how much this is love. And every jar that I have, I care about you. You know, if you hit me up, like, I know I was about them, their kids, the dogs, with somebody. If Kim looks, she smiles all the time. She has the most beautiful smile. But I can tell sometimes when her when her center's not right oh, and God. she hikes and bites. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? You don't oh, know my her. gosh. Uh, now, I'm telling you what, I, she's a witch. Like, because <laughs> there was a day when I was still working at the network in Minnesota yep. that this woman right next to me sent me a Facebook message and she's like, Sister, what's Sister. going on? And I'm like, Are you a witch? Because I was she like, said, what? She said, Who do you know? What do you know? I'm like, Who you been to? It was a bad day and mm -hmm. she could just tell. And I thought, Man, I thought I'm a pretty good actress. I, I just put my big old smile and lots of energy in. But yeah. she, she could look into my eyes and see mm -hmm. behind that la da 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 something was going down and she just sent me the most positive messages and you know just just kept giving me love and kept giving me light and she Absolutely. was like, know that you have a friend for life if you ever need anything and it was mm -hmm. a couple months later that i i was released from the network and yeah and and I was just like, you know what? I look to your message every day to give me strength because that, that was a challenging time. But we're family. We're family. And when one person hurts and when you know your family, you can look at them and tell. 